Did you really have to hurt him this bad? Now I'll have to carry him. It wasn't my fault. He challenged me to a duel, and I had to stick it to him. I didn't want to be the leader anyways. I just wanted to get a reaction out of him. Even so, breaking his arm was unprecedented of you. Didn't know you were at that level of douche. Yeah, whatever. Mr. Sleepy over here probably won't remember a thing anyways. His dementia has been getting pretty bad. That doesn't mean you should instigate a fight and beat the fuck out of him. Don't care. Can we at least take turns carrying him? No way in hell am I carrying him. I'm the first line of defense, the powerhouse of this squad. If I have my hands full, do you trust yourself enough to not get us killed? Who the fuck is that? This dude is way too close for comfort. Stay back, Barack, I'll handle this. Donald, seriously? You're going to attack some random guy at a time like this? Buddy over here was not respecting my six feet of space. Now I'm gonna put him six feet under. You are being such an idiot. The guy was just peacefully walking by. Never trust someone who looks too peaceful. For all you know, he was going to wait for us to be out of sight so he can gun us down with his crossbow. Take that, you maggot. I bet that hurts so bad. Joe's starting to slip. Get this over with. How the fuck did he block that? That's more like it. You talk so big, yet you can't even kill this guy in a reasonable amount of time. Would you hurry up? Oh, you like stabbing, huh? I'll show you my stabs. Barack, if you wouldn't mind shutting your fucking mouth, I'm about to unleash my killer move on this guy. Eat my killer move! Oh, baby, that's how it's done. I protected my companions from certain death. I am a hero. Holy shit, this guy has beef jerky on him, my favorite. You did have some sick moves, but how about we get Joe somewhere safe before we attack more people? All right, sounds like a plan. Might as well get some loot while it is just laying here for free. Ah! Who are you people? Unhand me, vermin. Joe, relax, it's just us. Oh, hey, Barack, mind putting me down? I don't want to get vomit all over your clothes. Oh, man, my arm is killing me. I think some sleep will allow it to heal up nicely. It's nice to have you back with us. Yeah, hey, Sleepy, you just missed all the action. This crazy guy attacked us, but don't worry, I protected you. That's bullshit. You know, Donald, you're sometimes such a piece of shit, but you're someone willing to protect me with your life, and I have to respect that. Thanks, Donnie. You're welcome. Have to keep my boys safe. Hate to admit it, but you guys are my only friends. I wouldn't call us friends exactly. You are a pathological liar. We both know what happened here. Barack, you were too busy cowering while I saved us from that crazy man. You didn't see the whole thing. You're not worth talking to. Too bad that guy didn't have anything for you, Barack. All I got was this high quality jacket, a backpack, and his katana. Man, it's just a shame. You are so self-absorbed. I didn't expect you to share any of the loot anyways. Kind of having trouble keeping up over here. Let's go, Joe. If you can't walk, crawl instead. Guys, seriously, wait. I don't think I can walk as fast as you with this leg. You're so cringe sometimes. Fuck off, Donald. How about you guys walk at my pace or help out a bit? No, thanks. It would probably be better to jog through this hellscape. I'll go get him. Thank you so much. This is what true friends do for each other. I'm happy to help you out, Joe. Now we are going to Zoom. I hope we can find someplace safe to sleep. You are safe to sleep anywhere while I am around. I'm basically a one-man army after all. Don't you think you are tooting your own horn a little too much? I win every encounter I face. I don't need teammates. Teammates need me. Donald, hypothetically speaking, if you and I fought, I would own your ass. Don't make me laugh. Just look at Grandpa dangling from your shoulder. You would get smoked just as bad, if not worse, than him. I had that fight in the bag. You got lucky. Joe, try walking the rest of the way. We have to show strength while in public. I'll try my darndest. What do you mean, lucky? There were like three key moments where I outplayed the hell out of you. Skill diff. I want to rematch when I am back to full health. We can even up the risk by using our weapons. I accept the rematch. I'll enjoy the opportunity to destroy your confidence again. I bet that big building at the end has some beds. How are we going to convince them to let us sleep here? Let's just ask politely. Maybe they will show us some presidential hospitality. That sounds like some smooth brain wishful thinking. Don't worry, I'll handle the negotiations. Hello, my good man. My companions and I seek refuge in your fine establishment for one night only. I'm willing to trade in a masterly crafted crossbow that I commandeered from a bandit outside of your town. Uh, sure, I guess. Leave it with me. The beds are in the back. Wow, nice negotiation skills, Donald. What can I say? It's a gift. What do you mean, a gift? You had something of value and you gave it to him. You didn't barter or anything, just jumped straight to giving him the crossbow. 
I think someone's a little jealous that he couldn't be the hero that I consistently proved to be. Whatever, good work, I guess. These beds are pretty comfy. Wish we had some blankets, though. Yeah, it kind of forces us to sleep with our clothes on. Speaking of, Donald, why are you not wearing your pants? That's a pretty stupid question. They are armor-plated. Do you know how annoying it would be to sleep in those? Yeah, time to get going, boys. Hi, yeah. Hell yeah, my arm is feeling refreshed. Hey, yeah. I'm ready to roll. Feels good to be awake this early in the morning. Thanks for the safe place to sleep. Yeah, thank you so much, guys. These chumps don't even know it, but I snagged some of their food and water canteens while they slept. We can eat a good breakfast while we are on the move. It baffles me that no one ever hears you talking with that loud mouth of yours. Booyah, good job, Donald. Where do you guys want to go? I don't know. Let's just pick a direction and start running. Oh, no, we are back in the desert. God fucking damn it, this place sucks. Let's just turn back. No use in wasting more of our time. Wait, it's that thing that was watching us from before. Holy crap, Joe, I never should have doubted you. It's okay, Barack, the truth has been revealed. No way that thing exists. That's the biggest cockroach I've ever seen. We probably should get out of here before it spots us. It was following us before. It deserves to die. Oh, God. All right, men, charge. We're about to make some cockroach stew. Holy shit, it hurts. Come on, Barack, get your A-game on. Screw off, Donald. I didn't even want to attack this monstrosity. What if we try using some teamwork? Good idea. I'll keep its attention. You guys attack it from the sides. I like that plan. Oh, shit, Barack is down. That thing has some leaps. Quit fooling around, Barack. Get up before it comes back. There's another one over there. Just give me a few seconds that hurt like hell. Yeah, take your time. It's not like we are surrounded by man-eating cockroaches. I can't believe you wanted to attack that thing. You're so stupid sometimes. Who's more stupid? The person who does the stupid thing or the person who follows him? Can you guys cool it? I'm trying to figure out where we are. Watch out. Yeah. Where did these things come from? I couldn't see shit with the sand blowing around. This is precisely why I should always be the one in the front. I would never lead us into a den of whatever the fuck these things are. Donald, I can't keep blocking their hits. I'm going to need some backup. Kind of busy over here. I need you to win this fight. Don't fall down like Joe over there. Yeah. God damn it, now my flank is exposed. You are so useless. Yeah. There you guys are. Get the fuck out of my way, you bone dogs. I'm trying to save my old friends. Maybe I should reassess the situation. I'm clearly outnumbered. I should make a break for it before they break through my armor. I'm coming, boys. I'll get you all to safety. Let's go, Joey. You are not dying here today. Schmeck. I'll lead them away in hopes that Donnie and Barack can make it out. Everything is going according to plan. I think they stopped chasing us. What the heck? Is that you, George? Yeah, hey, Joey, don't worry. I'm going to patch you up. Can you walk? Yes, I am good. Thanks for the save. Let's go back and save the others. Right behind you. Hey, Barack, are you awake? Yes, keep your voice down. I'm trying to play dead before I run for it. I didn't see much, but I think Joe made it out. Judging on where the dogs are coming from, I think he went that way. Let's get up at the same time. All right, three, two, one, let's bolt. I think this one sees me. Oh, fuck, we might have to kill these two quickly. I don't think I can outrun them. We're so dead. Take this, you rat. Sorry, Donald, you're on your own. I gotta get out of here. Oh, fuck, I'm not gonna make it. Ooh. Donnie is about to be bone dog food. Good thing I made it in time. Now it's my turn to save you, Barack. George, I'm so happy to see you. Nice to see you too, Donnie. Been a long time. How long have you guys been here? Just over 24 hours. What is this place? There are giant cockroaches, slavers, and big rat things. Wow, that is surprising. I've been here for over a year now. I'm kind of used to all this stuff. All right, George, we need some answers. Where are we exactly? Well, I don't really know how to tell you this, but we are trapped in a video game. So you're saying we are in the Matrix or something? Whoa, that's pretty cool. Yeah, this is our new reality. I'm not sure how to get back home. Believe me, I tried. So why did you take us here? Well, your time couldn't have been any more perfect. I am the leader here. We are what people call cannibal hunters. Tomorrow is the day we plan to invade the cannibal plains in order to eradicate them from this land. There are cannibals in this world? That sounds terrifying. Yeah, that is wild. That sounds spooky even to me. How many of them are there? There are thousands of them. There are also dozens of tribes that fight against one another. If they unite together, the world will surely perish. Well, George, 
I think I speak for all of us when I say that we would like to help you in your fight. Don't speak for me. I never agreed to help anyone with anything. It doesn't sound beneficial for me to be eaten by brain-rotted humans who eat one another. Oh, come on, Donald. Just remember that George risked his life to save us. Could you let me finish speaking, you dehydrated cantaloupe? Look, I think you guys came here for a reason. During our most dire time, you can walk away, but I humbly ask for your assistance so we can win this fight for all of humanity. Sorry, George. Thanks for your help earlier, but there is no way in hell I will throw away my life for you. Also, I'll throw in some new armor and weapons for each of you. All right, I'm in. Hell yeah, let's do this. One condition, though. My armor has to look beefier than Barack's and Sleepy's. Now, hold on just a second. You can't... Great. Glad everyone is in agreement. Oh, hey, I forgot to mention, you guys won't believe who is also here with me. Well, look who it is. Statistically speaking, our odds have increased tenfold with you fellas joining our ranks. Oh, fuck, it's him. 